the case properly, place it on a flat surface, checking that the latches are on the top. Release the latches and open the lid. The flute has three sections, the head joint, the middle joint, and the foot joint. The embouchure plate and embouchure hole are located on the head joint. Remove the head joint and hold it in your hand. Take the middle joint and hold it near the top, above the keys. Twist gently as you insert the head joint into the middle joint. The embouchure hole should be aligned with the keys of the middle joint. Pick up the foot joint, holding it near the bottom. Gently twist the middle joint into the foot joint. The embouchure hole, the keys of the middle joint, and the rod on the foot joint should all line up. The keys on the foot joint should not be in line with the keys on the middle joint. Be careful not to bend any keys when handling your flute. Remember, be careful not to bend any keys when handling your flute. And make sure you have aligned the embouchure hole, the keys on the middle joint, and the rod on the foot joint. Let's learn the proper playing position. Sit near the front edge of your chair with your spine straight and tall, your shoulders back and relaxed, and your feet flat on the floor. First, bring the flute up to playing position. Place the head joint in the curve of your chin so the embouchure plate rests just below your lower lip. The bottom edge of the lower lip should feel the inside edge of the embouchure hole. The end of your flute should angle slightly down and slightly forward. Next, rest your left thumb on the long straight key on the underside of the middle joint. Bend your left index finger so the flute body can rest at the base of the finger. Place the first, second, and third fingers of your left hand on the second, fourth, and fifth keys of the middle joint. Curve your fingers so the finger pads are above the center of the keys. Now, let's learn the right hand position. Curve your first three fingers above the last three keys of the middle joint. Place the pad of your right thumb on the underside of the flute, between the first and second fingers of your right hand. Only the area in front of the first joint should touch your flute. Your thumb will help support the flute and maintain the shape of your fingers. This is the home base position for your fingers and thumbs. Your little fingers should rest naturally on side keys without pressing them. Remember, your spine should be straight, your shoulders back and your feet flat on the floor. Your lower lip should just touch the inside edge of the embouchure hole. Your flute should angle slightly down and slightly forward. The flute rests at the base of your left index finger and place your right thumb between your first and second fingers. A very important part of playing the flute is breathing. Always take a deep breath through your mouth, keeping a relaxed, open throat. Feel your lungs expand as they fill with air. As you exhale, Control the air with the muscles around your stomach. Good breathing habits will quickly improve your playing. The embouchure is the way the mouth muscles are formed, so a musical sound can be produced on a wind instrument. Let's try this first on the head joint. Take the head joint off your instrument and carefully lay the flute across your lap. Holding the closed end of the head joint in your left hand, Cover the open end with the palm of your right hand. Place the embouchure plate in the curve of your chin so the edge of your bottom lip can feel the inside edge of the embouchure hole. Your bottom lip should cover approximately one-third of the embouchure hole. Form your lips as if you're saying the letter M. Using the sound P, blow a stream of air through the small opening in the center of your mouth toward the opposite edge of the embouchure hole. Some of the air will go into the embouchure hole, and some will go across the embouchure hole. It sounds like this. 
Let's try it together. One, two, ready, play. You may need to roll the head joint slightly in or out to find the embouchure hole position that produces the clearest tone. Let's play four shorter notes. To begin each note, place the tip of your tongue on the gum line just behind your top teeth. Whisper the word two while blowing the air across the embouchure hole. Let's play together. One, two, ready, play. Remember, the edge of your bottom lip should feel the inner edge of the embouchure hole. Your lower lip should cover about a third of the embouchure hole. Blow partly into and across the embouchure hole. And whisper the word two to begin a tone. Let's take what you learned about embouchure and try it on your flute. Twist the head joint back into the middle joint, remembering to hold the instrument at the top of the middle joint. The first note you will learn is called F. Be sure that your thumbs and all of your fingers are in their home base positions. To finger the note F, close the keys underneath your left thumb, the three fingers of your left hand, the first finger of your right hand, and the first key on the foot joint with your right little finger. Your other fingers should just rest on their home base positions without pressing any keys. Let's play F. One, two, ready, play. Check that your feet are flat on the floor, your shoulders are down and relaxed, and your instrument is in proper position. Let's do it again and play the F as a longer note. Take a good breath and don't forget to whisper two as you start the note. One, two, ready, play. Let's play four shorter notes on F. It will sound like this. Now it's your turn. Remember to say two to begin each note. One, two, ready, play. Great! Keep practicing these exercises. With good playing habits, you will make fast progress. You are ready to move ahead in your book. Remember, keep your fingers in their home base positions. Always use a full airstream and whisper the word two to begin a tone. Before putting the flute back in its case, it's important to clean it with a cleaning rod and a soft cloth. When handling each part, be careful that you don't bend any keys or rods. Remove the head joint and lay the rest of the flute across your lap. Insert a corner of the cloth into the hole of the cleaning rod and wrap the cloth around the rod. Insert the rod into the head joint to remove any moisture and place the head joint back in the case. Next, carefully twist the middle joint and foot joint apart. Draw the cleaning rod through the foot joint and return the joint to the case. Do the same for the longer middle joint, inserting the rod into both ends to thoroughly clean out any moisture. Finally, remove the cloth from the rod, fold it up, and place it back in the top section of the case. Close the case, making sure the latches are secure. Your flute will be waiting for you the next time you want to play. Remember, be careful not to bend any keys or rods. Clean the inside of each joint with a soft cloth and carefully latch your flute case. Congratulations! Playing the flute is fun. Good luck 
and have a great time.